Welcome to Nextara TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 31, Comments and Tracking. In this video, I'll show you how to use collaborative tools like comments and revision tracking in Word 2010. So today we're going to be talking about collaboration tools. Word 2010 makes it easy for multiple people to edit and work on the same document. Word has tools that leave a clear trail of who's changed what and who made each comment so your document can stay organized and understandable. So in this lesson we're going to be covering comments and track changing. Now comments allow you to attach comments to various parts of your document, sort of like if you're putting post-it notes on a hard copy of your document. And revision tracking is when a mark is made for every edit you make to your document and this can include um, inserting something, deleting something, changing your formatting, um, or moving anything. So this is what comments look like and this is what track changes look like. And when you're using either comments or track changes uh, you, can you can see all the comments and track changes in your document by checking out the reviewing panel. So to get to this you'll go to review and you'll just double click the review panel. And the review panel shows all comments and track changes in your document and breaks them down into sections and double clicking the review panel again will make the review panel uh, disappear. Now you can also change how your document is being viewed. Right now we're viewing our document in markup layout so you can see all your comments. But if you'd like to look at your document in the final print form without your comments, all you need to do is come up to the display for review area and select final. And this shows a preview of what your document would look like. Now this doesn't get rid of your comments, it just hides them from view. So if you go back up to your display for review and click final show markup, your comments will reappear. Alright, so now let's talk about comments. So to insert a comment into your document, you're going to highlight the section that you want to comment on. And then you'll come up to review, new comment, and you can just type whatever your comment is about that section of your document and you've just added a new comment. Now you'll notice currently how we have comments set up. We have a different color for each person that's commenting on the document. Word has it set up so that way if you're opening your document from a new computer it'll automatically start commenting from a different author's point of view. So it'll give you a new color for comments and a new color for track changes. But in case somebody's going to be using your computer and you still want to mark it as a new user, you can do this manually by coming up to track changes change new user. So all you need to do is change the name and click OK. So now if you create a new comment it'll give you a new user color. And if you'd like to change other settings for your users or your comments or track changes you can do so by coming up to track changes, change tracking options. So your track changing options allow you to change various things. You can change color settings uh, and if things are controlled by author or if you just want to use the same color for all authors, things like that. For your comments specifically, you can also choose if you want them to show in this balloon format, which is right here, or if you don't like that, you can change it to never, and then it'll go to inline revisions. So you see your comment doesn't have a pull-out balloon, it's just now in your document. And if you mouse over it, your comment will appear, or if you again double-click this review panel, it'll pull up your comment that way as well. So now the next thing you want to do is be able to navigate from comment to comment. So to do this, you can click through the next and previous buttons. And once you've reviewed a comment and you decide that you um, want to delete it, all you need to do is click delete. And you also have the choice of deleting all comments in your document. So the next thing that we're going to go over is tracking. And basically all this does is it'll track whenever you make any changes to your document. And again, you'll see that we have, we have different colors for different authors in our document, and we can double-click the review panel to see all of our edits. Alright, so to go through track changes, you have to accept or reject the changes. And by accepting a change, the revision will be incorporated in your document, and the revision marks will be removed. And if you reject a change, the revision will be removed, and your original text is restored. So to go through your track changes to accept or reject changes, you'll need to highlight one of your marks, and you can navigate between track changes by using the previous and next buttons in the changes section. So once it's highlighted, you can click accept or you can reject a change or you have the option to reject all changes or accept all changes. 
Thank you for joining Nextara TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 31 Comments and Tracking. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextara.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com/nextara.